Hey guys, it's Chimney Swift here from the Minecraft Workbench community and ChimneySwift11.com. And I'm once again sitting behind the uh, beautiful silver microphone here for episode 60 of the Minecraft Files. And uh, episode 60 tonight is going to be all about redstone. So tonight's just going to be kind of the basics. I'm going to walk you guys through some different things. Um, and uh, we'll do a couple different tutorials on certain things. Um, nothing too exciting yet. Um, we got some more... Some, exciting stuff coming next week, a little more advanced um, techniques and things of that nature. Um, but uh, let's um, let's go ahead and uh, figure out what we're going to do here. So I think we're just going to do a basic tutorial kind of on how redstone works at first. Um, so yeah, let's get... Alright, um, so what we're going to do first here is we're going to craft a... Um, a door and we're gonna do a lot of stuff with doors today um, one way the one way I kind of learned uh, about redstone was um, through just playing around with different materials uh, different levers and switches um, you know different uh, the different mechanics of the game um, and the mechanics kind of open up a whole new aspect of Minecraft and uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of that today so uh, let's come over here to our um, redstone this is gonna kind of be our redstone testing area um, let me get some of this stuff out of here let's open this area up just a little bit um, we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff this next week with minecarts and redstone and um, I don't consider myself an expert by any means in any of this stuff, so if you have questions, feel free to ask me. Uh, tweet me them on Twitter. Um, my Twitter is uh, ChimneySwift11, and um, you can leave me messages in my YouTube inbox, um, different things of that nature. But uh, today we're going to, um, we're just going to go and set up um, a simple doorway here, and we're going to kind of work with that, and I'm just going to show you guys some, some basics. So, um, let's get started. Perfect. <laughs> One way you can make sand float, put a door underneath it. All right, so this is a doorway. Now, if you guys don't know about doorways, um, doorways can be activated by a pressure plate. Okay, I guess it's got to be a little closer. So, you put a pressure plate next to the door here. You provide power and the power opens up the doorway. You walk back through, you step on it, it closes. Every mechanic in this game, whether it be um, a redstone torch or a door, has an on and an off um, phase, basically. Um, I guess this door is, a, is at an off position. This is at an on position. Um, <clears throat> so it's all about changing the input um, mechanically to switch that object's position from on to off. Um, now stone pressure plates are different than um, than the wooden ones and the wooden ones um, are activated by anything being on them. So you can place uh, a block of anything on them and it'll activate them whereas on on the uh, stone ones they're only activated by human or mob activity. So these can only be activated by a human or a mob. Or if you're in a mine cart uh, and you're on the stone pressure plate, it'll activate it. Whereas just a normal mine cart will activate the wooden one. Um, but now for the door here as well, a wooden pressure plate will open the door. So you can use those for doorways. Now another um, uh, another one, one of the mechanics is a button. And a button you can place next to a door like this and you press the button and it opens the door for a short amount of time. The buttons don't open the door for all that long um, but they do open them for a a short amount of time. So those are buttons. And those may work on the ground as well. I think they may only work on vertical walls. Um, the next thing is a lever and levers are a little bit different because they stay in a certain position um, this is off, this is on, and this door will stay open until I switch it back closed. So these are manual, and these are pretty cool. 
Okay, we can use all of these different things and we can wire them to redstone. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring a trail of redstone out from the door a little ways. And what we're going to do is we're going to place um, the different uh, we're going to place the different mechanical items um, just along here. I'm going to show you guys kind of how they work. Um, and let's get that button too. Alright, let me uh, get some stone here. And we'll bring this guy all the way out here. Alright, so the button is there. And let's let's tie these guys together. And this should be hopefully enough. Okay, perfect. All right, so all of these are wired now to open the door at once. Um, basically, it's the exact same thing if I were to do uh, the circuit is the exact same as a direct circuit. So it's it's essentially this. It's just coming from all these different sources, and it's going to be channeled into this one path right here. Um, so let's test some of these things out. So a switch will keep this circuit on. It will keep the redstone circuit on in the on position. Um, if it's switched off, it'll turn the circuit off. Okay. Um, now a stone pressure plate, same thing. If it's on, if I'm standing on it, it will keep it on. If I turn it off, it will turn it off. Wooden pressure plate, the exact same. Body weight or an object. Okay. And a button will do the exact same on, off. And those all open up the door. Okay. Now, one thing we can create is a, um, and I haven't created one of these in a while. I'm going to try and figure this out here. Uh, but we're going to do what's called a redstone inverter, and it's going to change the, um, it's going to change the signal of the redstone uh, from going through the on position, hits the the repeater or the inverter, and it turns it off. So for this, I'm going to need some redstone, um, some redstone torches. So I'm going to get about four torches. I don't think I need that many, but um, let's get the redstone in our hand. And I believe what we're going to do here is you bring the, um, you're going to use two blocks here. Now, what we normally had to do before the redstone repeaters were out was craft this uh, with basically with blocks um, out on the, the ground like this. Um, and craft a repeater, which is what these are, and, not, and, and unfortunately, um, Notch incorporated these as, an, as a smaller block into the game, which makes them very easy to use, but he hasn't done that yet for an inverter, which switches the signal. So an inverter takes a signal that's giving the on signal and switches it to the off signal. And to do that, um, we're going to need uh, two blocks here like this. You're going to place the redstone torch on top and the wire going into this block. You're going to place this torch um, coming on the outside like this, and you're going to place a piece of redstone dust on the top. Now, what this is, what this essentially is doing um, is taking uh, this off signal, it's turning it on, which is turning this on, which is turning this redstone torch, which, which def uh, the de default position for a redstone torch is on, by the way. And it's turning it off by providing a power source to the redstone torch. So this heated wire right here is turning this torch off, which means if I connect the redstone wire here, this signal is off. Um, and did I just do a... Nope, I just built a repeater is what I just did. <laughs> I basically built what was this um, before this happened. So if you want to build an old school redstone repeater, this is what you're going to build. If you want to build an inverter, follow me. <laughs> so a uh, inverter is is uh, is smaller. It's just going to be, um, I think. Yes, this is an inverter. Okay, so an inverter is taking an off signal and it's turning it to an on signal. Okay, these are these are a lot more simple than the last one I just showed you, the repeater. The inverter is um, creating a uh, this. It's causing this door to be open. Um, yeah, let me light this place up a little bit. It's causing the door to be open because it's providing the door with a power source. As you can see here, it's providing the door with power provided by the redstone torch. Now, to switch the signal, I'm going to step on the pressure plate, which is going to provide energy to the wire here, which is going to 
turn the redstone um, the redstone torch off. So that is how you switch a signal, um, and you can do this with any number of things. You can do this with a um, you can put a button here. Uh, just make sure you connect the redstone wire above here, and that's going to switch the signal here from the redstone um, line from being off here uh, and on here to being on here and off here. All right. Um, now we're going to get a little more advanced here just because I've got a little bit of time. And um, let me run to the house real fast and sleep off the night so I can show you guys what it is during the day. So uh, give me like two seconds and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back. And um, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a, um, I forget what it's called. It's called a, uh, a uh, five something repeater. Um, I'm looking it up here, a five clock pulser. Um, so what we're going to do here, and this is going to be used for, you can use it for notes. Um, you can use it for all sorts of stuff. Uh, it's basically up to you what you want to use it for. Um, but it's called a five block pulser and uh, we're going to set that up here. So what you're going to need for this is a block, like any block, a block of your choice. You're going to need a bunch of redstone um, wire and you're going to need some um, redstone torches. Oops. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the... Um, the circuit. It's, it's basically going to be a circuit that's shorting on itself and it continues to go around and around and around and the power keeps going around and around and around. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put this a block here and we're going to place a, a redstone torch here. And then we're going to put some redstone wire in front of that followed by another block followed by a redstone torch. And that's going to be off. See this power is turning this redstone torch off. Actually I need to make some more of these guys. All right, then what we're gonna do is some more redstone wire. Now you can't place redstone wire directly underneath the redstone torch. Basically this redstone torch takes up the, the whole block area in front of this block. So what's gonna be responsive to the power supplied by the redstone torch is this piece of um, redstone dust, basically a block ahead of the block that this redstone torch is sitting on, if that makes sense. Um, and then we're going to provide, uh, put another block here and this is at the turn, so we're going to put that there. And on the output, this is what's going to create the current. So we're going to put this here. And basically it goes like this. So at the corner, you're going to make the turn. And we'll place another block here. With the redstone wire there. And the dust is going to be here. And a block, oops, here. Followed by the torch at the end and the redstone wire here which is going to create the circuit and this is going to pulse rapidly so as you can see here this is if you watch the signal here this is what's creating the current and if we put another torch at the end of this this torch will blink with the power supply coming through to it uh, now let me see if i can get up top here i'm going to build directly in the middle oh no i don't want to do that is that's going to confuse you guys if you want to see a bird's eye view of this, let me um, let me build up like this so you guys can see what I see. And if you want to pause this video and basically create exactly what I created, do so now, um, as this will probably be the best the best view that you guys are going to get of this. What I what I want to do with this, you guys, is I've looked up a lot of redstone tu redstone tutorials and minecart tutorials online. Like I said, I am no me in no means. Uh, or by no means a professional with redstone. I don't consider myself to be a professional, but I've messed around with it enough that I want to share my knowledge with you guys. Um, and I want to make an easy and fun way for you guys to learn redstone because it's such an integral part of the game that most people don't know about. Uh, it can really add a whole nother aspect to Minecraft that, um, that most people don't know about or never experience. Uh, apart from the mining and the building and, and things of that nature. So redstone can be very fun if you mess around with it. Uh, I remember when I was first messing around with it, it was kind of scary. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Um, but once I started to do it a little bit, um, it became it became kind of fun. 
So I, I don't I don't really use it that much anymore, but uh, I picked up some tips and tricks along the way, and um, so this is one of the tips tips and tricks that I've done. So one thing you can do with this, if you want to annoy your friends with the pulser, um, would be to create a note block and uh, attach that note block to the end of the um, the end of the pulser there. So a fun fun way to do this is kind of hide your pulser underground. Um, on a server and uh, let's grab some dirt so we can make a piano instead of the sand which makes it like a, I think a guitar sound or something um, maybe a drum and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, you, you can hide this underground for your friends and um, <clears throat> it's gonna annoy the heck out of them because they're not gonna know what's coming from so every time this pulses through it's, it's gonna make a noise basically So, all right, guys. Well, that's it for episode 60 of the Minecraft Files. Make sure you guys stay tuned for um, another episode of the Maroon Pirate series coming this weekend. Um, I haven't decided yet. <coughs> excuse me, whether or not whether or not I want to extend the 404 challenge. Um, um, but I will let you guys know uh, if I want to do that or not. Um, I'm thinking that's kind of like a complete series. I know you guys really enjoyed the 404 challenge. Um, but all good things must come to an end and I did die unfortunately um, and I also need to focus on um, some other things in my life um, as well so I need to cut, cut out a little more time for that but I, I do want to keep doing um, the Maroon Pirate series and obviously the one thing that's never going to stop hopefully it never will stop is the, uh, the, the Minecraft files so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on um, the uh, redstone doors and stuff here and uh the redstone uh five clock pulser and like i said we got some more coming next week also if you guys will continue voting for your favorite minecrafters um at the uh for the machine of minecraft all-stars video i'm gonna leave the link in the description below um and the last thing i want to tell you about guys is on my website if you go to the community tab there's a, there's now a forum you guys can sign up for the forums um, I've got some good cool things on the forums um, sign up for the forums it's gonna be awesome the big thing that's going on on there is I'm trying to get questions uh, from you guys uh, to ask Jacob Porser the developer from Mojang uh, from, from Mojang sorry uh, of the game called scrolls and I want to get your guys questions so I can ask him some of those questions so um, if you go to the forums there's under the scrolls forum there is a uh, a place where you can post your questions. So sign up for the forums, post your questions, hang out with some other, some of the other Swifters that are on the forums, and get to know everybody, and it'll be a good time. So, all right, guys, well, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you guys uh, comment on this video. Make sure you like it, and most importantly, please subscribe. All right, thanks, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.